it's scary. It's a, it's a nude photo shoot with jewellery as your only piece of clothing, and some people love it, some people don't. Do you? Um, okay. I'll just have a minute to think. Cool. Thank you. Flexing my stomach muscles. I don't have any problems with showing my body. I think the naked body is a wonderful thing. <laughs> body, mind and soul. Get into position. I loved the hair I got. I loved the makeup we had. I loved when I wore and I just felt sexy. I felt like I was meant to be doing it. It didn't matter to me that there were men there. It was absolutely fine. I have a real problem with nudity. I used to do artist modelling. I grew up in that sort of community. My mum's an artist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, I'm pretty go, sure go, they got go, the photos go. that they were looking for. I can't wait to see them. I'm really excited about it. I'm getting a bit of a touch up, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it still. So I'll just wait for that 10 minutes. I don't think you should do it. I think you're a beautiful girl. I think you should just, this is too much. This is too much. You're gonna, you, it's, it's, the, it's, the it's fine. Producers. It's fine. You, you, you can do other things. This shoot you can't do. Sarah, her body was fit and fierce. She looked, had a great body. Next time I see her, I'm gonna ask her if she's a smoker because her skin to me was appalling. We'll know not to let you loose with anything sharp in future, yeah? Especially right before a shoot. Oh, poor Soph. Went into the bathroom to tidy up our bikini lines. And as she's pulling down her pants, she had the razor in her hand and she's completely scraped the skin off her knee. Well, I, was, I was taking my pants off and holding the razor. The razor. Oh, oh, shit. Still bleeding. Yeah. Ah. What are we going to do about shoot? We'll just have to work around it. I mean, we can't put makeup over it. She's got gammy leg. That's this is gammy leg. Yeah. So we've got to hide the leg. We've got to hide the leg. So I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's the pose. See that there? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So put your arms up. Sophie. She's got great legs. She's really tall. She's got the, the right height. She was probably the one of the plainest looking girls today as well. But once I dressed her up, she looked cool. Fresh face. Just check. Rebecca needs Go. to relax. You know, she's a cool girl. She's got tall legs. Good height, but she just needs another model to me. Here you go. Good. So you're gonna do the shoot now? Depending on how much is involved and if there's anything I don't agree with, then I'll just leave it. But if not, I'll go ahead with it. There was a lot of waiting around and she didn't necessarily make a decision straight away. I think if she really wanted to do it, she should have done it. And if she didn't want to do it, she should have just left it. It was pretty emotional for her today and for everyone around. I felt like I was her dad at one point, and I hate being put in situations like that. She'll probably be proud of hers, but it ain't nowhere near as good as the other girls. Tomorrow you will face the judges. Prepare for an elimination. That's bad. No, 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 no. We thought, you know, this could be our last night. Let's sort of get to know the girls a bit more. Would you rescue me if I was in a disastrous... Like, stressful situation. Yeah, I'd rescue you. Would you get with me? No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can't get me. 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 Bigger and bigger and bigger. She sort of like came onto me and I felt really uncomfortable and I just said muddle and no. Do you reckon I could um, shave her auntie's eyebrows off? I didn't encourage Lara shaving her auntie's eyebrow off. Can I shave her auntie's eyebrows off?
I came upstairs and Lara had actually shaved off um, most of her auntie's eyebrow to about there, like so. <laughs> Here, Auntie, look at me for a second. <laughs> Lara, did you do that? No. and looked in the mirror and I was so angry because it was like on my face. Just in general, like I don't want to have people like shaving my eyebrow. That is so rowdy, immature and classless. It's not even funny. I'm a bit nervous about this next elimination. I think my photoship went well, but I still think there is room for scrutiny and there is room for criticism. The more I'm here, the more I want to win it. Hi girls, welcome to Elimination. Your first week has been a tough one. You started with an obstacle course and you finished with your very first professional photo shoot. As you can see, the competition this year is of a very high level. But for the winner of Australia's Next Top Model, the prizes are fantastic. $1,500 worth of lovable lingerie and sleepwear, Samsung's hottest new mobile phone, the E530, an eight-page editorial in Clio magazine, and the all-important modelling contract. It's a two-year modelling contract with the agency I'm represented by, Sheet Management, and it includes a trip to New York to meet with Next Model Management, which is one of the world's leading agencies, plus $1,000 spending money. Now, to meet your panel of judges who you met earlier this week. First, we have the sassy event producer, Victoria Fisher. She is responsible for creating some of this country's biggest and most memorable fashion shows. Next, we have homegrown international fashion photographer, George Antoni. He has photographed the likes of Alyssa Sutherland and rock goddess Gwen Stefani. Back for his second series is the undisputed king of couture, Alex Perry. Supermodels Megan Gale, Elle McPherson and Linda Evangelista regularly beg to borrow his frocks to roll down the runway or the red carpet. Our guest judge this week is Australian Hairstylist of the Year, Jane Wilde. She is the GHD Ambassador for Australia. This week, Victoria Fisher and Michael Boyd taught you how to handle yourself on the catwalk. I hope you've been practising because the judges and I would like to see you stretch your stuff. Sarah, we'd like to start with you. Would the other girls please wait outside? We're going to play you a piece of music, so it's up to you how you interpret it. Whenever you're ready. Get your phone back on the carpet. <laughs> it was a little bit alien-like. You looked all around the room. Can't do that again, guys. No, you can't do it again. Just got to keep walking a lot. And then you'll be able to graduate to these. <laughs> the music has no relevance to your walk. <laughs> wow, here she comes. It was really good. Simone was the star of the day. You've received a lot of compliments in your life, haven't you? 